I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was just incredible, absolutely incredible. Where to begin? A 123-121 a, a win for the Nets, down 25 to start the fourth, down 28 just before that. Biggest comeback win in franchise history. And, and Sarah, let's start with the man who finished it, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, because this is a guy who's so well-liked and who's had a tough year between injuries and being out of the rotation. And Kenny Atkinson went to him as a last resort because nothing else was working, and he proved to be not only the catalyst, but the finisher for this victory. It, it was so fitting because Rondé Hollis Jefferson in, in that entire lineup that really sparked this whole comeback, they brought a level of, of guts and of grittiness and of something that this team has defined themselves by throughout the course of this entire season. He did it on both ends of the floor. He got them going. We saw the bench just as involved as ever. And, and so you want to point to different things throughout the course of a season that change how you view a group and how you view what this organization has become and we've seen it over and over again at different points but i think once again a night like tonight proves just the amount of moxie that this organization has and this group this season has and d'angelo russell i mean this guy has become a star and we've seen it time and time again this year him delivering big moments he was one of the regulars who was out there with that group with dudley with graham with hollis jefferson kuroots was the other that provided energy and russell did it getting to the rim he did it making threes pulling up catch and shoot I mean, his fourth quarter, he scored 27 points in the fourth quarter. It was just sensational. There's a word we don't often use about D'Angelo Russell for as supremely talented as he is, but him being a downhill player. Yeah. He doesn't often show that acceleration of first step explosiveness to get all the way to the basket and finish. And in that fourth quarter, and he did it throughout the course of the night, but in that fourth quarter, he was just consistently beating his own man and having the confidence to go all the way to the basket, finish at the basket. And that in turn opened up his entire game of of course, he hits a big time three point shots. Um, but the ease in which he was finding his way to the basket was something that was really special. And again, it, it's he's had an all star season, but it's amazing to see how much he continues to develop in front of our eyes. It's hard to put into words just how big this win was for this group. They've lost three straight. This tough road trip was off to a brutal start. Heartbreaking loss on Sunday. Then you're getting shellacked tonight, and all of a sudden it changes like that. Sarah, how about, tangibly, obviously, the win is important for the playoff push, but the momentum that this group gets and the satisfaction of pulling this comeback Midway off. through a mega road trip, and we discussed this, it takes a physical toll on you, also a mental toll, and this group has continued to stay together, but I think it allows you to breathe. It allows you to relax a little bit. You want to get a win, and you want to continue playing in a manner of which you're accustomed to playing, and I think less about wins and losses and more about how do we get back to playing Brooklyn Nets basketball, and I think that's what we started to see tonight, and that's what we started to see what this team has hung their hats on, just that type of energy, effort, belief in one another. You know, now they can feel that once again in that locker room. Speaking of exhaling and taking a breath, we might do that now <laughs> as well. What an incredible game. The Nets pulling off the greatest comeback in franchise history and getting a much needed win on this road trip.